from three choices, such as favorite food, favorite animal, favorite activity. And then we wrote about it because that is called an artist statement. So we talked about artist statements last week. So let's do something a little more fun today. And I figured today we do a haunted house. What you're gonna need is a bunch of paper like this. And we're going to have it. Paper. I still can't hear you. Can I have I'm sorry, Gio. Um, just uh, watch, and then hopefully that'll, hopefully just watching will make it sure that you can follow along properly. Okay, um, so what you're gonna do, make sure your paper is vertical like mine, then we're gonna be drawing like this. So make sure the paper is like this. Uh, I highly suggest you do this in pencil. That was a little bit easier. Uh, but for you guys, I'll be doing this in Sharpie so it's easier to see on camera, okay? So first step, step number one, I want you guys to draw a nice hill, starting from the bottom corner. So I'm gonna go from the bottom corner, and my hill's gonna look very obnoxious like this. And go all the way down to the next corner, just like that, okay? So please draw a nice hill in the bottom. Make sure your paper is vertical, okay? All right, my next step, my next step, I want to draw a set of three rectangles. So my first rectangle is going to be nice and large. It's going to put on the top of the hill like this. And then my next two rectangles, they're going to get smaller in width. So I'm going to make one on top of that, another one on top of that. So if I zoom in for you guys, it should look something like this. So this is going to be your set of stairs on top of the hill. Just like that. Good job. All right. My next step. I want to make sure the sides are covered. So I'm going to add two bushes on each side. So maybe I want to add a bush on one side and one side of the a bush on the set on the other side. Uh, you can go from the ground if you want. Uh, for this version over here, I'm gonna go from the stairs to the ground, from the stairs to the ground, just like so. And then if you wanna add some spooky eyes inside your bushes, you can. Uh, you don't have to, especially if you don't celebrate Halloween, you don't have to do scary eyes. You can just make it a normal house but just still follow directions. So I'm gonna make a set of eyes on each of them. Maybe two eyes on this bush right here, two sets of eyes, there we go. All right. Next step. Let's work on the door. The door could be a few things. I've seen kids do a normal door like this. I've seen kids do uh, kind of like a rounded door like this. For me, I'm going to do something a little bit more different. I'm going to add a door that looks like a coffin. So I'm going to add two lines going away from the stairs. So maybe like this, so one right here, one right there. So it's kind of like more going outwards like that. And then I'm going to create a line going a little higher. Make sure it's horizontal like this. And then if I just connect them to those lines I did previously, it should look more like a coffin, coffin shape, like that. But again, you can do any type of door you want. That's why I did the other types on Post-its, okay? All right, my next step. You can decorate the door any way you want. For my door, I'm just gonna create a swivel handle. And then I'm gonna add kind of like a gated or like a kind of like metal bars for the window. I'm just gonna create a spot in the window that looks like that. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. All right, the next part of this haunted house. I know we're running out of time. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of go at an angle again, kind of like how I do for the coffin for the sides of the house. I'm going to go up 
And then on this side, maybe I want to add more of a crack on the side of the building. I want to add some zigzags here and there, just like so. All right. What I want to do next is I want to add some nice, super tall windows. And I'm going to make them asymmetrical, meaning that they're not going to be balanced in a way that's making sense. So I'm going to make them a little crooked, just like so. Maybe I'll add another window right here. Nice and crooked. There, so nothing matches. And if you want to add some broken windows, you can kind of just add lightning bolts to a part of the window, and then it'll symbolize that there's cracks in the window. If you want to color one block of the window black, it'll symbolize that. No. Yeah, what's up, Finley? Um, I don't have the same, so I'm drawing it on a piece of paper, but not exactly like yours. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, uh, my next window, it's going to be a circular window. I'm going to put it right here. And then if you just want to kind of create like a cross or an X on it, you can. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to add stairs on it. And then maybe you want to add like a ghost like flying through or flying down the stairs or up the stairs. You can do that if you want. All right. Now I'm going to do this uh, building a little bit different than my previous class. I'll show you guys what I'm about to do. There's going to be two sets of roofs. Let me explain how this works. On the circular window, I'm going to kind of create a triangle on top. I'm going to make its own roof like this. And then you can make it three-dimensional by adding another set of triangles on top, just like that. So notice how it looks like that. OK. I'm going to go a little bit higher on the sides, actually. I didn't go high enough. There we go. All right, next up. Behind this triangle, I'm just going to kind of create a straight line behind it, like this, like that. And then I'm going to connect them to the bottom, like this. So those lines right there. And then I'm going to connect the ends of this triangle to the end of this roof and connect this end of the triangle to the end of that roof. OK. All right. I am going to add a little more detail as I move a little bit faster here. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, you can either add spikes to the top or you can add loop-de-loops on top of this roof right here. Like this, I'm gonna add loop de loops on this one, loop de loops on this side. And if you wanna create um, some horizontal lines in the building, you can. But before I do that, I have a lot of empty space right here. So I'm gonna make these windows a little bit taller just by making a line like that and then kind of making their own windows like that. And I'll do the same on the other side because I have a lot of space going on. All right, in order to fill out some more spots, maybe I'll just add some stripes to the building to symbolize that it's made out of wood. And I'm gonna go all the way up. Now I know we're running out of time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show my example from last class also, and I can show you guys that there is different ways how to draw a haunted house. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my old other one right about now. So on this one right here, I kind of did like a scaled roof instead, meaning that's kind of like a loop-de-loops, -loop, like fish scales versus the one that I did over here with you guys. And uh, that's it. 
I'm going to change my camera around so I can say goodbye. And I think we're good to go. I'm going to stop the recording, make sure it goes to my folder.